How's it going, comic book fans? Welcome back to another minute-ish review on Cafeteria Drops, where we take a look at what's popular in the comic book industry and determine if you should pay attention. Today, we're taking a look at one of the most surprising and utterly disturbing comics I've read in a while, Beneath the Trees, Where Nobody Sees, written and illustrated by Patrick Horvath, with colors by Hassan Atzmain Elal. Is this mysterious title worth your time? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, let's start with the narrative of Beneath the Trees, Where Nobody Sees. When I say that I went into this book knowing absolutely nothing about what I was about to experience, that is exactly what I mean. I have never heard of Patrick Horvath before, and surprisingly, after doing a bit of research, I found out that this is his first comic project. Additionally, I also found out that he's a film director, writer, and producer, serving in those various roles on movies like Entrance, The Pack 2, and Southbound. Now, I will admit that I haven't watched any of those movies, but I am more than a bit intrigued to check them out now that I've read Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees. The story begins innocently enough in the small town of Woodbrook, a picturesque town that looks like it could have been the setting out of your favorite children's book. As we are introduced to the citizens of Woodbrook, we get glimpses of their quirkiness and their everyday lives. Our main character is a bear named Samantha who teaches shop in school. There's Roger the Rhino who's the fire chief, a hound dog named Patterson who's the sheriff, and a forgetful goat named Martin among other animals who live in the town. Each of these characters are charming in their own right and really add to the draw of this story. It's almost comforting to see characters like this featured in a comic book as it pulls on those nostalgic strings. It makes me think back to the books that I liked when I was a kid, like the Berenstain Bears and Little Critter. Of course, with everything seemingly perfect in this town, I knew something wasn't right. And let me tell you, my suspicions were confirmed in disturbing fashion. It seems our main character, Samantha, is pretty normal except for one thing. She's a serial killer. Yes, this is exactly the opposite of what I expected from this book. I was taken by surprise and in turn, I was intrigued from start to finish. Because Woodbrook is too small a town, apparently Samantha likes to travel out of town, abduct random animal citizens, and then brutally murder them, all depicted in absurdly graphic detail that mimics a children's book. We are also shown where Samantha buries the bodies of those she kills, beneath some trees. Overall, Samantha has killed many animals over the past two decades and prides herself on keeping everything neat and tidy. Aside from the reveal about the main character, we're also given another reason to continue reading. There's another killer amidst the citizens of Woodbrook. The story of issue number one concludes with Martin, the forgetful goat, showing up dead during a parade. What will happen to Samantha now that another killer is on the loose? Overall, Horvath does an excellent job turning the benign and innocent nature of those children's books you remember on their head. The characters are interesting, the setting is charming, and the writing is top-notch with delicate attention given to Samantha and her daily life. The most alarming aspect of the story is you can identify with Samantha. She's a normal animal, living a normal life, highlighting that anyone can be the killer in Woodbrook. I imagine that over the subsequent issues, everyone's going to be debating who the other killer is, and I'm definitely looking forward to that discussion. Now let's take a look at the visuals of Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees. Another impressive credit to Patrick Horvath's name is the fact that he handled pencils on this book in addition to writing it. Even though he's doubled up on duties, the quality certainly doesn't suffer. 
Each character present in this comic book looks like it came straight out of a children's book. Faces are overly expressive and features are exaggerated. A few times I even felt as if I was reading an illustrated adaptation of one of Disney's classics, like The Fox and the Hound. Even when the book moves into darker territory, like the murder of Samantha's victim, the visuals still maintain that storybook charm. It's psychologically jarring to see these animals depicted with such innocence, and then turn the page to see one brutally murdered in gory detail. However, I will say that the violence is handled with care as well. Yes, there are violent scenes, but they are not overly grotesque and gory just for the shock value. I believe the shock comes from being more reserved with these details to fit the overall aesthetic of the entire book, and it works wonderfully. Color work is as equally important in children's books as the art, and it can make or break the impact of the book. Fortunately, Hassan's color work in this book is absolutely brilliant. The colors are in the style of watercolor paintings, again mimicking the style of those children's books from the 80s and 90s that you're familiar with. The colors pop off the page and are visually arresting in their own right. I might even say this is the best pairing of pencils and colors I've seen in a comic book in a very long time. This is perfection in execution. The colors contribute to the cuddly quality of each of the characters and equally horrify when the time is right. Contextually, this style of colors just makes sense. It just doesn't get much better than this in the comics industry. So to sum things up, the positives of Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees is, well, everything. This is as close to comic perfection as you can get. The writing is top notch, the characters are all charming, the premise is unique, and the horrifying elements of the book subvert the reader's expectations. The only con for this book is that it ends, really. I can't come up with anything else other than that. All right, comic fans, thanks for tuning in to Cafeteria Drops for another minute-ish review. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more comic goodness, and comment below what you think of Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees. Get your pull list ready, and I'll see you next time.